Okay, so we're just going to go over what we went over in the lesson, which is just tapping triads uh, and then just uh, a few other little bits as well to do with tapping. So remember we were trying uh, to do a major arpeggio tap. So all that is is this shape here. So the root in this case is C sharp. And then you're going to the fifth the octave isn't it? no sorry to, for the no to toward to the fifth that's what it is it's the root to the toward to the fifth so if you were to do that exact arpeggio up here that's what it looks like kind of similar to anesthesia just that's all you're doing but you're doing it like that so it's that shape where you're going from C sharp to an F which is the 10th fret, so 6th fret to the 10th fret, to the 13th fret. And then you just literally shift it up an entire uh, tone or an entire step. So it's still major. Then the next one you shift it up a step, but it's minor. So it's not as much of a stretch. Back down to the major. That's, it, it builds up in speed obviously but like I said if you want to do it so that it's not as much of a stretch on the fingers you can do it starting on the D like that and then move up here the only thing is it might be a little bit annoying for you to get back down to the major on the D in that case there so it's uh, there so you might want to just keep it on the one string, but just remember that you're going to have to shift or, or uh, do a, a quite a big stretch. So that's what it will look like there. Sorry. So. Not if I got it right. Time. One, two, three, four. So major, major, minor. So uh, from C sharp to D sharp to F to D sharp or E flat, whatever you prefer. So uh, D flat or C sharp, E flat or T sharp to F. Those are your roots, all right? So. So that's single hand tapping. Onto the double handed stuff. If you want to do arpeggios this way, remember that you can just do minor and major shapes using all your chord tones. So that, that uh, those kind of tapping arpeggios there is single hand tapping, or even though I know you use bow hands, that's what it's called. Uh, it's just mainly doing the rue, the third and the fifth. That's kind of what they all do. Like you can do little variations and stuff like that, but it's, it's not really, you know, it's not it doesn't really deviate much from that or remember i was showing you that you can kind of maintain the same shape so say we were playing in a minor in the if you were doing that kind of tapping you can go from the seven to the to the root that's what that hand is doing seven to the root in minor and then you know the minor shape if you were to just take that further so that's just the root, the second, the third, and the fifth of a minor scale. But we're moving it with tapping.
that's all that is moving through the entire scale and for that particular note there I had to bend because I don't have a high A unless I do it on the C string I do it there but I think it's just it, just, it looks cooler as well if you bend it so that's all the single hand stuff now the double hand stuff this will usually involve adding in the octaves or you can add in the seventh don't do the sevens it just, it just depends on the situation if i'm doing this i don't do a lot of tapping anyway but i tend to keep the same shapes and stuff i, I do a little variations here and there so for a minor shape you're just going so in this case it's a minor it's 12 on the a 15 19 and then 19 on the d string so that's what the minor one looks like do a major one we can we can do something that's in the same kind of case so we can go the G major so that's here remember it's just a, a major shape but you're tapping it so root toward fifth octave so you want to kind of be able to switch between them so do stuff like tree there so think think all the high tree is is if you're starting the minor scale again you'd go but if you want to make it so that it's easier to tap you do it on the g string so see it's just a minor chord just remember that a minor chord is always two frets and one string above so like that so that's a c an a to a c so you can go like that. You can add in your high seven. You can add in your high, uh, your high five. <laughs> so you can add in your high five if you want it. In this case, I know that you don't have twenty. Uh, you don't have twenty uh, one frets, so you, you can do it from G if you wanted to. So. like the shape uh, and like I said that's kind of uh, if you've ever seen guitarists do um, sweep picking that's kind of what they're doing but they're they're picking in a fluid motion like that across all the strings whereas we're just tapping the individual notes to kind of get the same the same kind of thing it does sound a little bit different but you know same same notes um so those are the arpeggios, a minor, major, and remember that you can you can add in the major tree, the high tree <coughs> on the on the fourth string or the G string, and remember it's just a it's just a major tree. So remember that for a major chord, it's just one string and one fret away or below if you want to say so. If you're playing the uh, G major. Where that's uh, on the 17th fret, the major is going to be on the 16th fret of the G. So, if you want to do that, try bring in the high tree whenever you can, but for the moment, solo that I did before um, and we'll move on from that though because it's not going to deviate too much it's it's using your chord tones to tap essentially so just think of all the different chord tones you can do you can do like flat fives if you wanted to so so instead of going like there you go that's what the flat five looks like Minor seven. So 
you know, just moving the shapes around. And then um, we're on two tapping chords uh, and melodies. So remember the fairly basic uh, thing that I was showing you, that you're just going. So a C, G. It's never changing the chord here. The chord on, on your right hand is never changing here. Just try that. So the main thing for the double handed stuff is that I want you to practice doing this kind of chord. The chords will change a little bit, like you'll do majors, you'll do minors. The minor is a little bit trickier. See there, it's just minor trees, major tree for the variation on the chords. You can do a five to an octave. Like just, just think of all of your usual two two chord shapes. So your major, your minor, your power chord, your fifth with the uh, octave, and then you can do weird ones as well like this, and then. And then just so you know you're probably not gonna be doing those chords too much when you're doing tapping but just any two and uh, no chord is really available to you when you're doing that kind of stuff and uh, that's that's basically it for now um just remember as well that it doesn't always have to be that kind of thing where you're doing a chord you can do melodies like And a famous double hand thing that I actually remember. Uh... So you can even tap some Beethoven if you want to. So th that's that's all for now. Anyway, uh, we'll we'll move on a little little pieces uh, with the tapping and stuff in the next lesson, and uh, I'll show you more slap as well. <laughs> 